Hey Fruit Bats, it's Frilly the Banana Girl here. Today is day 26 of my 30 videos in 30 days. And I've got my lovely mother here today, who I love very, very much. She's come to, yes, <laughs> she's come to visit me. And we've been hanging out, having a great time. We walked up Mount Lofty, didn't we? Yes, with you behind me with a whip. Yeah, she needs a hey. You need a whip. Can't stop, can't stop. She, my mum is great. How old are you now? 62. 62 and going strong and been on the high carb, vegan, raw vegan path for how long? Yeah, oh, it must be nearly five years, I think. Yes. Yeah, yeah five years. Nearly five years. I mean, I've only been on it for like six and a half years, so mum has been hot on my heels. Five years. Oh, I've definitely followed your example. You are my raw example. Thank you, mum. <laughs> Thank you. No, but my mum inspires me all the time. I remember I grew up on a farm and Mum tried to feed us as much organic fruits and vegetables as possible. I remember going to school and being like the only kid who had like fruit in their lunchbox. I'm serious. Well, that's really hard for me to imagine because it's I always loved fruit. Yes. So. Oh, Mum always did a great haul. It's what pretty simple. But. Well, basically, I just eat as much fruit as I want for breakfast and lunch and then hit the uh, Yes. And the, yeah, and after four o'clock, I'd probably like to have a uh, cooked meal. Yeah, yeah, but sometimes I don't. But what is a cooked meal? Are you have KFC? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is what I have for breakfast, fruit for lunch, and then after four o'clock, having a high carb vegan meal. Like high carb, low fat vegan meal, no animal products. And my mum came up with this, and she's been doing this really successful for years now, and I've kind of like ran with the idea and made the group draw to four and made a video explaining how to do it more specifically. And what have you overcome? Like, well, since I've, I've become a vegan, I've overcome my eczema, which I had for 57 years. 57 years? 57 years, and I never thought that I'd ever be able to beat it. I, I had been to so many skin specialists, and I tried so many different things, cream, because I've been scratching all my life. And, and my mother told me that I was actually, um, I had eczema the day I was born. So well, it was pretty bad. So that just shows you. I mean, like, and what about when you were young and Nana, my Nana, your mum, would tie gloves? Yeah, she would tie gloves onto my hands because every night I'd go to bed and scratch and there'd be blood all over the sheets and I'd have skin off everywhere. A few things. She never ever thought about diet though. Yeah. No, no one does. I mean, all the specialists you went to, how many of them actually commented on diet at all? I only had one actually who actually gave me the elimination diet to try to see if it was something in my diet and that was one out of about six or seven. So, and that's that's serious. Tools could cure anything. And the first thing he did was hand me a script for uh, a celestrone ointment. Uh, and I'd already had that, and you know I knew it had bad side effects. It thins your skin, and I didn't want it anymore. And I told him that, and he said, "Oh, well, I'm a skin specialist. You have, uh, you have to do what I tell you, otherwise, don't come." And I said, "All right, I won't come." Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, they're getting kind of high and mighty because they're wearing the white coat and they have the education. Yeah. But they have no idea what you were going through and all the experience that you already had. Well, I'd had prick tests and saliva yeah. tests and hair follicle tests. And I've got to tell you, like, growing up with mum, like, that's, that was the big, the major thing all the time was mum's skin. She was always, always scratching, always in discomfort. And when she went vegan, when she got the meat and the dairy out of her diet, I could not believe the change. Amazing. She sleep instead of just scratching and moving around and trying to find somewhere more comfortable and then scratching again until, you know, it was midnight and I hadn't had any sleep and then in the morning I'd be deprived of sleep and I'd have scratch, new scratches on me. Yeah. And like never ever wanting to wear, you know, like low cut tops or anything because she's oh, covered in rash. I never scratches. wore anything with uh, shoestrings, uh, straps. Yeah. Never wore, even though it was really hot in summer, I always had to have sleeves. <laughs> yeah, we should get you. I've got an abrasion there, but it's not. No, no, it's like fantastic skin, trust me. 
It really is. What message do you have for anyone who's struggling with eczema? Oh, you know, there's so many things, but diet is the most important thing of all. I mean, you know, you need to be careful about what soap powders you use, and you need to stop using soap in the shower. And you, but you, you did all those things. Yes, so I've already done it. all those things, and it, and it had helped a little bit, marginally. definitely. But, you know, going vegan, I really didn't expect the results I got, but it was just a miracle for me. You used to have a lot more congestion. Yes, yes, like so I used to have mucus over, overnight I'd build up mucus and have to get rid of it in the morning before I could breathe properly. My mother had major sinus problems yeah. and I, I guess that it had passed on, on. Yeah, it, it had passed on a bit. And also, um, what about weight? Weight, yes. About 10 kilos. Yeah, yeah. I, I lost about 9 or 10 kilos when I became vegan. Yeah. Which was quite a nice side effect, yeah, exactly. as far as I was concerned. A lot of fat and fluid yeah. in it. I went, you know, down a couple of sizes and felt really good. Everybody thought I had something wrong with me. <laughs> I was like having a cancer or something. Yeah. I did have a friend say that I hadn't seen for quite a while say, Oh, you've lost so much weight. You, oh, you're not sick. Oh, you're not. You haven't got cancer. <laughs> I said, No. I just went vegan. Healthier than ever. Yeah. No, I felt really good. But it was hard for people to um, accept that losing weight at my age was a good thing. Yeah, exactly. It didn't mean you had cancer. It's all health reasons. But now I can see, you know, for the sake of the animals, you know, I couldn't do that again. Yeah. You know, I really felt um, a karma. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I just have a wonderful feeling that nothing has to die for me. And that's really important to me now. Yeah. Me too. That's that's awesome. Well, it's true. Like oh, we grew up, you know, with on the farm and everything, killing chickens, and you know, it's sort of normal. Yes. But now we get it. Now we're like, oh my god, what are we doing? Yes. You know. Yes. But at least we're on the path now. No more animals have to suffer because of our meals. So thanks for coming in, Mum. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> Love you too. Aww. She's and, a wonderful girl. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm very, very lucky. And I will see you tomorrow for day 27. I hope you enjoyed this interview. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up for mums. We love mums. <laughs> and don't forget to go fruit or go root. <laughs> <laughs> fruit or root yourself. And we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Bye. Madame, girl.